by the time we started our true stand down, uh, more than halfway through the ACT OFF program, the accelerated turnover of the Vietnamese, we as swift boats weren't doing much in the way of coastal surveillance at all. It was almost all inland operations, which caused severe logistics problems. When we were doing coastal surveillance, we were operating out of Da Nang, Quinion, Cameron Bay, uh, Catlow, and Antoy, which had good support capabilities. By the time we turned over to the Vietnamese and all those coastal surveillance stations had gone to VNN, and we were operating in the, in the rivers and canals, we were no longer operating close to our logistics support. Uh, we transferred our division in Catlo to Sadek so it would be closer uh, to its area of operations. But the logistics support was still back in Catlo uh, or Cameron Bay, and it might take uh, several hours or up to a day to get from the area of combat operations back to the logistics support to get repairs. Uh, we had boats that had to operate with a single engine. We had boats that operated with a gun down. We had boats that didn't have communications, but there was no place to go to get them fixed, and we never really overcame the logistics support problem. Uh, headquarters support activity in Saigon claimed that uh, we had adequate support because we still had our original bases. They would not create a logistic support capability inland to support the boats. And it, it became a serious problem by the time we turned the last boat over to the Vietnamese.